Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a secret quest uh, in Dunmoreau called Tundra, uh, Tundra McGrand Stolen Stash. So uh, if you could kind of see there where I'm starting out from, I'm starting from the Wendigo Cave, just outside of Karanos. So I'm taking this way. You can actually take the road here. It, it, it's directly off the road. It's only hidden because uh, you have to climb up a mountain to get it, but you can find the actual cave you need and everything like that pretty easily. Uh, you just can't find the quest super easily. So I'm going to fo just follow around inside the mountain here. Uh, but like I said, you can get here from the road. So this is obviously going to help gnomes, it's going to help dwarves. I think you can pick up the quest at like level 7 or level 8. Uh, you can pick it up pretty low. You won't be able to kill the thing itself, the, the mob guarding it, uh, until you're probably like level... 10 or 11 at least and then even then you have to be pretty strong solo class to do so so you'd want to group if you actually wanted to kill the thing now luckily you don't have to kill the kill the mob you can wait for it to patrol away or if you're stealth you can stealth in and get uh as as the quest name kind of says stolen stash to get the stash so there you see to my left there was the road and this is just the path that uh, comes up from the road. So that path is in between the two mountain ranges, which you can easily see on the map. I'll have the map up for a little bit longer when I get up to the quest sky. But the path goes between the two mountain ranges. And uh, so we're just going to follow the path up here. And you're going to see some, you know, bloody corpse type things on the ground. That means you know you're in the right place. The cave was to my right right now. There is the mob. See, he's very patrolled away from the cave right now. So if I had the quest, I could just run in there and grab it real quick before he got to me. So we're going to climb up this mountain. It's marked by that wooden uh, structure with a banner on it, uh, just opposite side of the cave. And then you'll see another cave up here, and this is Tundra up here. I was waiting for my uh, party member here, my buddy. I actually found this quest in original vanilla just from climbing around. Um, I always like to climb the mountains and stuff like that. So uh, I didn't realize this actually gives you a lot of experience. This actually will give you about 900 experience, uh, provided that you know, you're know you in the level range to do the quest. It's not like green or gray or whatever. Uh, it'll give you 900 experience, which is, uh, you know, could be a quarter of your level, could be a sixth of your level, depending where you are. We're going to head down here. Now you, uh, you'll you see as we get back that the guy is actually in the cave and pretty deep in the cave. So we, we're actually just going to kill him. He's not that hard to kill. Um, I know at level 10 I could solo him on a paladin. Uh, but uh, we were lower level here. And there's two of us. So that made it a lot easier. And I think some other people actually come later on. I don't know if they get any shots on him or not though. If you are a paladin soloing this, what I suggest uh, doing is doing like a normal DPS rotation, put your uh, crusader on it, use righteousness, uh, right before you're about to die, use your bubble and heal up, and then right before you're about to die again, which you will be, is when you'll then use your lay on hands, and you'll just have to be able to kill him from there. You'll obviously be a dwarf then if you're a paladin, and in this zone most likely, so you can use your uh, stone form as well for some extra armor. So I'm bubbling there. And then they were able to kill it without me. I think he used a potion. But uh, if I had to keep fighting that, then I would have then had to lay on hands as well eventually. So this is the, the locker just in here. Again, you don't have to kill him to do it. So you loot this, and then you're done, and that's it. So um, good luck to everybody. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if this helped you out at all. Hopefully everyone can get this nice big chunk of experience for themselves. To turn it in, you just go right back uh, where we came from, just right across and up up the hill up here, uh, marked by, again, the wood with the, with the banner on it and stuff. So, uh, again, please subscribe, uh, and everybody have a good one.